ever smaller, ever more efficient. These are the demands we make on electronic components. But there are limits. Inside the tiny structures, there is not much room for the electrons. They keep colliding with other particles and losing energy in the form of heat. It's obvious that it won't be possible to manage the large data streams of the future using conventional technology, such as electrons flowing through a wire. We need new strategies and solutions that are more energy efficient, which means avoiding such a buildup of heat and enabling a faster data rate. Around the world, researchers are trying to find alternatives, like here at the Helmholtz Zentrum Dresden Rossendorf, where research is focusing on one electron property in particular. Electrons not only have an electric charge, but also a spin. They rotate around their own axes like a children's spinning top, generating a magnetic moment. We want to harness this magnetic property for new technologies. In a ferromagnetic metal, these magnetic moments always point in the same direction. And the special thing is that if you change the direction of a spin with a pulse, the others all follow suit. A spin wave is created, like the ripple caused by dropping a stone into water. This wave transports the pulse further without a single particle leaving home. If the electrons stay put, they are less likely to collide with other particles and lose energy. Our vision is to use spin waves to realize the idea of transporting information without moving electrons. With the help of lasers, spin waves can be visualized. If they are to be used in nanochips, they have to have extremely short wavelengths. Our key challenge was to create an antenna that was small enough to generate such ultra-short waves. Our solution was to use a nanoscale magnetic antenna that naturally self-assembles. To achieve this, the researchers order the magnetic moments in a circular plane so that the space in the middle becomes very cramped and the individual moments are raised up. These can then be used as nano antennas that emit spin waves. If devices based on spin waves are to function in real life, we have to be sure that the waves won't propagate uncontrollably in different directions. Therefore, we have to force them to travel along predefined paths. The Helmholtz researcher's secret lies in ion beams. If you shoot them at a special non-magnetic alloy, the material becomes magnetized at the point of impact. Here at the helium ion microscope, we use a nanometer-sized beam to write magnetic tracks into the material. By doing so, we can direct the spin waves in the direction we want them to go. Thanks to research results like these, we can expect tomorrow's devices to perform far more efficiently, which also means that new wireless networks will be needed for the growing volumes of data we use mobile phones and computers to communicate with each other every day. But maybe this is just not enough. So if you want to do more for the environment and society, we need to define new technologies that function at hundreds of gigahertz, which today we simply don't have. Here too, HZDR researchers utilize the electron's magnetic moment. They shoot laser pulses at the wafer-thin coating of a special magnetic alloy, setting their spins in motion. Thus excited, they emit electromagnetic waves in the terahertz range. Superfast terahertz wireless transmission could achieve data rates 100 times faster than existing technologies. What differentiates the HZDR from other institutes is its integrated approach. Universities and other research institutions usually focus strongly on one specific aspect, such as generating and detecting spin waves or transporting the information carriers. But here at HZDR, we are able to cover the entire research field. Scientists from all over the world are working at Germany's Helmholtz Zentrum Dresden Rossendorf on a completely new IT world. Tomorrow's technology will manage larger volumes of data and consume far less energy in the process.